Hello, I want to show you how to practice bookkeeping before you ever get started with your first client. I know a lot of you are sitting in the space of you're stopping yourself from moving forward with your bookkeeping business because you're not quite sure how to actually do the hands-on bookkeeping. And so what I'm going to show you today is a tutorial that shows you inside of the QuickBooks Online dashboard of how to actually code transactions and then reconcile a bank account. I'm going to show you that exactly how to do that. So stay tuned with me. And this is something not many people are teaching or showing, but this is a how-to of how to code transactions inside of QuickBooks Online if you're wanting to begin a bookkeeping business. I am Vicki Watkins and I own and operate my very own bookkeeping business. And I also coach women how to do it too. So I'm glad to have you here in this space. We're going to learn how to do this. I am going to share my screen with you because I'm going to show you exactly where to go in Google to find this for free to sign up for QuickBooks Online. So give me just one minute to share my screen here. Okay, so you go into Google and you literally type in this phrase, QuickBooks Online Accountant. And this is going to pop up for you, QuickBooks Online Accountant. You will go here and sign up for free. I, of course, already have my profile set up, but this is the dashboard that you're going to see. I'm about to show you a tutorial of how to code transactions. And this is the dashboard where we're going to be. You go in, you do not have to have your LLC created. You don't have to have a business name yet. You don't have to have a business bank account to do this. I want you to get your hands in bookkeeping so that you can see if this is for you. Um, one of the things to keep in mind with my tutorial, what you'll see is it's a sample company inside of the QuickBooks Online dashboard. And you can go there and find it too in the gear icon. You go to the gear icon when you get inside of this dashboard and you will say sample company and you can practice. You can code things. You can see where they go. You can run reports. I'm about to show you how to do that too. So what we're going to do is going to show you how to code transactions inside of QuickBooks Online. Are y'all ready? We are going to get started. Okay. We are going to reconcile a bank account. We've got a checking bank account here that has 25 transactions that need to be reviewed. So we are going to go into the banking feed and I'm going to walk you through how to reconcile these accounts. So it looks like here that we have um, a refund of this books by Bessie. I don't know what happened there. This is a sample company I'm using. So we've got uncategorized income is how QuickBooks is automatically categorizing this. The bank feed is automatically coming in. It says it was updated moments ago. And so now all we have to do is move these for review items to the categorized items so that our profit and loss report will be um, accurate and we can pass this on to the client and let them know their books are reconciled. So I am going to utilize QuickBooks where they automatically do the work for me. I will take that to my advantage. However, I do usually click in the transactions and make sure it makes sense. So uncategorized expense. Mm, I try not to use that a whole lot, but in this instance, it looks like they're refunding a bill that was paid. I would almost, let's see if there is um, a professional, legal and professional accounting. I would almost categorize this to bookkeeping because books by Bessie, obviously they paid for bookkeeping. So I'm going to do that and add that to the check register. Let's see. It looks like there was a bill entered for this expense and it was matched. 
So we're going to match that. Oh, it's automatically changed it to legal, but no, this is more of um, a repair bill or supplies. I'd say supplies almost. Mm. Well, there's masonry, so they must be building something. So let's move this to building repairs. Okay. We're going to add that one. This one also was building repairs, masonry work. Chin's gas. That is gasoline. It's a vehicle expense for fuel. Here is a bill that was paid. And it was over here in the accounts um, payable under the vendor's expenses. So it's matching it. It's automatically finding it. So we're going to match that up. We have some income coming in from cool cars. And that is matched to the invoice and sales. This is more of a supply. We're going to add it. I just want to show you step from step when I pull um, transactions in for a company how I actually do this. So, books by Bessie. Okay, there's an expense. She did some bookkeeping. The other amount must have just been an incorrect amount. Here's a deposit. There was a match found. So I'm going to let it roll with what was found in sales. There's a payment and there was a match that looked to match here. So we're going to match it. Pies cakes. There's a refund. And it found a match. Travis was paid, um, actually paid us an amount, so we're going to match that as income. This was a deposit, there was a match found, so we're going to match that one. This was also a bill for PGE, and there was an accounts payable bill entered. Let's see, got a match. We're almost done. Here's one more deposit. A rental. Sometimes you have to create vendors on the fly. So it's easy. You just do that. You know, I want to add a new one. You save it. And a rental is more of equipment rental. It's definitely not fuel. So we're changing that category there. Got it. A rental. Pay rental, equipment rental, checking to make sure the payee and category makes sense. And we're going to categorize it. Do I want to create a rule? If the payee is a rental, it'll always go to rental equipment. That makes sense. I would say let's create that rule. We have received some income for a rental. This is probably a reimbursement um, back. Maybe we overpaid. So we're going to do that to uncategorized income. And here's this one that was um, for bookkeeping. So we are going to leave that as uncategorized as well. And here is another bill paid to our bookkeeping lady. And that matches the bill. We're going to do that. Let's see. Okay. Squeaky clean. There's two See where it says two records found. I left this one for last because I wasn't sure what was up with that. So now I see that there is on 828, it matches my date. So this is the one it needs to match. So I'm going to match it with this one. So now we have um, no items in for review. So we are done with that part of reviewing 
items that need to be reviewed, and they are now over in the categorized section. Okay, so we are going to look now at how to reconcile the bank account. I want to show you that in the back end of um, QuickBooks Online also, so you'll know what it looks like. You'll know how to go in and do this um, reconciliation when you have your bank statement. You'll be able to pull all these numbers from that you're going to see me doing, and you just pop them in, enter them, and you'll reconcile. So we are going to do that. I want you to see how to do this, okay? I'm going to show you how to actually reconcile your bank account. Now that you have categorized all the transactions, we're going to go to reconcile. I find it from the gear icon, reconcile. This is where you will literally grab your bank statement to find out what the ending balance was for your company at the end of the month after you've had all of your transactions entered and you'll start reconciling and QuickBooks usually clears everything that has been entered so it looks like our difference here is zero and the account is reconciled the deposits equal what's on the bank account these payments equal what is on the bank statement and our ending balance is 1323.07 you can finish now. And I was going to show, tell you that you can always look back at previous reconciliations. And it's just a good thing to know that if you forget to print it or you don't want to print it to a PDF and save it on file, you can go back in here and grab it. So. This gives you an overview of the reconciliation report. And this lets you know that you were done for the month of September and you can move on to your month of October for your client. So seeing what it looks like behind a QuickBooks Online account is very powerful because a lot of you may be wondering, can I even do this? What does it look like? How do I do this? So I wanted to give you this how-to tutorial. Make sure you subscribe below and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be releasing more tutorials like this. Let me know if you have other things you want to see. Make comments below and I'll make sure you see it and I have it here for you and my channel. Um, just remember, all you really need is yourself. That's all you need to be able to do this. Your QuickBooks Online is free. Get in there, start playing with it, doing the sample companies, and get familiar. I'll see you next time.